if the soundbar or speaker that you have connected to your Roku TV via HDMI or optical cable is not working, your TV can't detect it and you can't hear any audio playback, then I'll show you some easy ways to fix a soundbar that won't play any audio. First, ensure that the soundbar is powered on and it's not muted. If you mute your soundbar using the soundbar's remote, then your TV's volume control won't work. And also, if your soundbar is connected through an optical cable, then you can control its volume only using the soundbar's remote. After ensuring that the soundbar's volume is turned up adequately, if you still can't hear audio, then let's check our TV's audio output. For that, open settings go to audio and from the audio output make sure that you have selected arc if you're using HDMI and optical if you're using Toslink cable. After that if the problem is still not fixed then we'll check the streaming format and digital output format. So first open preferred streaming format and from there you can change it from auto to Dolby or DTS if your sound device supports it. Then we'll head to digital output format and change it to pass through from auto. And after that, your soundbar should start playing audio right away. If you still can't hear sound through your soundbars, then let's try cold booting our TV, which can fix it in most of the cases. So unplug your TV's power cord, wait for 5 minutes, and you can also unplug your soundbar's power too. And after 5 minutes, turn them back on and see if your TV can detect your soundbar. If it still fails to work, then ensure that you have connected your soundbar into the ARC port if you're using the HDMI cable. If it's plugged into a different port, then your soundbar won't be detected. And in case of optical cable, make sure that it's plugged in properly and all the way in. Now if your problem is still not fixed, then don't worry cause resetting the audio settings of your TV may fix it. So go to settings once again and then system. Go to advanced system settings, select factory reset and then highlight reset TV audio slash picture settings. And this won't erase any data at all so you can do it without any worries. Just press the play pause button 3 times, press ok and you'll see the TV settings has been reset and your soundbar should be detected right away. If you're still having issues, alongside resetting the TV's audio settings, you can also reset the soundbar itself. If you don't know how to reset the soundbar, just search it up on the internet. So that's how you can fix a soundbar that's not working with your Roku TV. Let us know which step worked for you and if this was helpful, you can let us know by leaving a like and you can always subscribe for more. Happy listening!